One of the most important parts about a YouTube video, hands down, is the thumbnail. And if you're a solo creator, oftentimes it can be difficult to take photos of yourself. And I actually wanted to break down what I do. I know Think Media, we have a bunch of help and when it comes to uh, content creators and editors, but I still oftentimes is, I'm making my own thumbnail from start to finish just here in my office. And so I just wanted to break down how to do that in this video all the way through up to the point of uploading. So let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Amaj Khoury with Think Media and this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube. And on this channel, we share the best tips and tools on how to do so. And sometimes we do tutorials just like this so you can level up either your videos or even your thumbnails. But let's get right into kind of the materials, like the gear of my uh, thumbnail setup. So the first thing is, my background paper. This is what you would consider or call photo backdrop paper from Savage. I wish I so chose that as my business name, by the way. But this is a, a color called Focus Gray. And so if you get a you know photo backdrop paper, Focus Gray is a great color. And oftentimes I'm not always using this color, although this is a great color that tech pops out from, whether it's cameras or mics or things like that. But shooting in front of this is great, especially if you're not wearing gray, we can easily key it out, which means you're just removing the background and put whatever color we, you want. I do that as well. Uh, the second thing is for our lighting, we have the Amaran 60D. This is a sweet light. It's about 200 bucks. Uh, this uh, softbox is separate from GVM, but I love this light not, not only because how slim and simple it is, but it uses batteries and so I don't have to have cables and my office isn't that big. Um, so it's really nice to have that. If you whip over around here, uh, we got uh, the camera setup. Now, typically when I have some extra help, I am having them take the photo, right? Uh, I'm having them take photos of myself or taking photo of tech or cameras. But in this case, I'm going to be recording myself get my thumbnail. And so we have the Sony a7C, a full frame body with a Tamron 28 to 70 lens, but it's at like 35 millimeters based off of this distance. And so I'm gonna be hitting record on this camera. And what's cool is if your camera has a flip out screen, you can obviously see yourself and so you could frame the shot. We're gonna get just a crispy 4K shot of different emotions. The, the thumbnail I'm actually making, and I'm actually making a real thumbnail that's gonna be used, is for an Adobe Premiere Pro uh, you know, uh, uh, software updates. And so they got five software updates. I'm gonna do a couple things. Uh, one thing is curiosity, uh, but oftentimes just giving yourself a bunch to choose from. As you can see the framing here, it's kind of tight. And you know, some people think they need so much of their body but really all you need is most of your face. And sometimes if you use your hands, you actually wanna bring your hands up. And so let's just hit a couple. I'm gonna hold the pose for about three to five seconds so that we can snap it in post. Uh, but here's the first one. And I'm thinking about the title. It's like five new updates. Oh my gosh. And my wife's laughing at me because she's judging, but we're gonna get that click through rate. <gasps> And then we're gonna do some little pointy. And if you, what I like to do is keep my thumb inside my body because I don't wanna, you know, if I key it out, it can get weird here. So I'm gonna just keep it inside my body um, for one. Number three, I'm just gonna look straight and look at the right. Bro, YouTuber stuff, guys, YouTuber stuff. And then let's do one where I'm actually looking up. I think that'll be cool. So we're gonna put my face like right here. What, Omar, what are you doing? It's all for the thumbnail, bro. I think we got it. All right. All right, I'm gonna hit end record. I'm gonna take out the SD card and we're just going. It is, this is one take wonder going on. So I'm gonna put this in my computer and then we're actually gonna cut to the screen recording of this computer while we drag in this clip. All right, so we got the SD card plugged into my computer. Just gonna open up that SD card, go to private, M4 root, clip, which is where that video clip is, and we just preview. So here's me, and it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna actually just drag that onto the desktop. And while that drags, I'm actually just gonna pull up Adobe Premiere Pro, which is my preferred editing software of choice. I'm just gonna make a location in the desktop for this. Just gonna call it thumbnail. So we're just gonna drag in that clip that we dragged onto the desktop. So I'm just gonna go to the desktop. This is the clip that I shot on the wall. We're gonna put it right here inside and it's gonna create a sequence for me based off of the clip. So this is a 4K clip um, and so, which is what I kinda want. So 
Um, so here's like a freeze frame and the way I just grab a clip is just by taking a picture here. So I'm gonna take a picture and do Adobe One. And I just wanna make sure it goes in the desktop or put it somewhere you know you can grab it later. So that's one version. Uh, we got Omar pointing. Surprise. Surprise. Oh my gosh, people click on this because I'm surprised. Adobe 2. But look, I mean, shooting a, shooting one like this is just, I'm getting so many options, which is so cool. I'm just gonna hit okay. I call that Adobe 3. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one because there's something about eye contact with the, you know, like this looks way better, you know, than me looking up to the side. And then what was the last one? It was me looking up. Cut my chin off. Oh, that's cool. All right, cool. Oh, we can call this Adobe 5. All right, now we got five images to, to play, play with. Um, we have, uh, we got Adobe One, we got Surprise, we got Pointy, we got, oh my gosh, I'm unsure, and then we got that. So let's see what we got here. And just so you can see, like, I do this a lot. This is, these are photos, so you can see how like much crispier it is. But I just did it recently for these headphones. It had, had the picture on the focus gray, and then the final product was this which you could see is like once you start messing with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Photoshop and now we have tutorials on Canva, but I just wanted to show you my process. And so I'm gonna hit new file and just do 1920 by 1080, just a basic one. I'm gonna call it um, Adobe, Adobe Updates. And then we're just gonna drag in those photos. And then I'm just gonna see how they look based off of um, what we, you know, got going and I think finding that emotion you want it to make sense um, you don't want it to be so random but um, I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing with this one so I'm just gonna click on this number one I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit remember I was telling you you don't need all that much face so we're gonna go right there I typically like to put myself off to the right side of the image and that's because the timestamp on YouTube shows on the bottom right and sometimes if you put too much text it can be confusing to read or what have you. So uh, the next thing I want to do is just to get the Adobe logo uh, or the Adobe Premiere logo and you can type in Adobe logo PNG or you can type in transparent um, and, um, and it's going to give you the logo hopefully without anything in the back of it. So this is kind of like the updated logo. I'm just gonna right click, save image as, and then we're just gonna put in downloads, Adobe Premiere logo, and let's, um, all right, so let's just drag that logo right into Photoshop. And so, um, as you can see, it doesn't have any background, there's no white, uh, which is nice. If there is, what you can use is actually the, the uh, magic wand tool, that's another tutorial. But if I hold down shift, you can see it like maintains its uh, pro pro proportions. Uh, if I don't hold down shift, then you can like mess it up. So just hold down shift while you scale. But I want Premiere to be the focal point of this thumbnail. So I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm just gonna type in uh, 20, let's try it, 2022, uh, 20, 22 updates. And then I'm gonna change it to our vibe here at Think Media. We like a little bit of Helvetica action. And uh, black will probably pop more. So I'm gonna go black. Uh, heck, I might even go purple, but let's just see. So, cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting there, but now, now I need to like really dial in what I want it to say. Not always is it um, perfect right, up, right off the bat. You know, now I'm, now I'm feeling like um, black is actually kind of dark. So let's see how white looks. If we go with white and actually throw a, a drop shadow behind it and we make it a little bit dark. That kind of pops more, uh, which is nice, kind of like that. Um, so this isn't, this isn't too bad. And this kind of, if you're a Premiere editor, I mean, hopefully you're, you would want to, you know, click on this. Um, and if I can make my face a little bit bigger, that'd be cool. So I feel like we're almost there. I do think it just needs a little bit more poppy and one poppy. Uh, but one more thing you can do is actually add a vignette. And I know there's so many ways that you can do stuff on 
uh, Photoshop, but I'm gonna just make a black box. I'm gonna click box here and make sure it's black. And I'm just gonna draw a black box over my image. And I'm actually gonna just uh, change the opacity of that box, kind of like, kind of like there. It should be good, around 53, let's call it good. I'm gonna rasterize the layer, so right click rasterize. And I'm actually gonna rasterize my uh, image layer. So this is the photo itself. And what rasterize is, is it just makes it more like edit editable. But I wanna show you how I can delete the background of this photo. So I'm gonna hit W, hit, uh, click this area I wanna delete. And um, the magic wand tool, you wanna make sure your tolerance is at a good place also. But I'm just gonna hit delete. And you can see how easy it is to just delete. And I know if you use Canva, you know, there's like a special feature that does it for you, which is nice. But as you can see, when I clicked on this, it kind of bled in. I don't want that. So I'm actually gonna turn it down and let's go like 15. 15 looks like it's good. Yeah, we're good on 15. So I'm just holding down shift, clicking, and and there I was able to cut myself out. I'm going to I'm going to uh, now put a color behind me. We're just going to change the color of the background and change the color overlay so you could see, you know, you could play with different colors. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I actually like the vibe. Maybe, maybe this will work if I use this. This is that's not the color. Give me this color. Oh, there you go. That's actually pretty strong. But now we could see what it looks like with the vignette behind it. So I'm just gonna turn back the vignette on. I'm going to make it kind of, I'm gonna put it on 24%. And I'm gonna grab my uh, eraser tool. I'm gonna bring down the hardness because I don't want it to be as harsh. And then uh, if you have a circle pattern, you can change that pattern by clicking this little mini circle. And I like the oval because I want a vignette kind of like the whole thing around my face and so and you'll see what I mean so let's just go back let's uh I just jacked it up so let's just squeeze it a little bit like kind of like oval vibes cool then I'm going to use the little bracket tool on my keyboard to expand this I'm just going to start clicking and it should, should kind of like give a nice vignette to this um, which just adds a little bit more of a pop or it makes me pop a little bit because the dark, the ends are kind of darker. So I think it's starting to look pretty good at this point. Uh, I, I feel like the the logo is kind of getting lost. I'm gonna see what it looks like if I double click the logo, the uh, Premier logo and put an outer glow. And let's see how what that looks like if we just make it pop a little bit with a little bit of white glow, we got a little spread. So I'm starting to vibe out. This is starting to look really cool. I mean, starting to look really legit. We're getting somewhere. Now, sometimes I will tweak the image a little bit to make it pop, but I'm going to uh, hit this uh, effects icon um, and then mess with some vibrance, maybe some uh, vibrant. We'll just add a little bit of juice to my uh, the overall photo, but especially me, just because I, I feel like it's a little flat. So I don't want to look orange like Oompa Loompa. I definitely want to pop a little bit because this is the YouTube and we want to pop. So that looks good. And, and if I hold down option, as you can see, it, it affected like the color of the background. But if I hold down option and you see that and I click there, it's going to now, you know, um, put it on just my image. So it, now it's just affecting my actual photo. But I think this is good. I'm going to now save this as a JPEG. So I'm going to go file, save a copy. And then we're going to go uh, make sure you save it on your computer. And I like putting it on my desktop. I'm going to type, call it Adobe Updates and we're gonna save it as a JPEG. And typically you're good here. I mean, uh, this the YouTube should allow the this configuration as you can see here with this, whatever you see selected. So I'm just gonna hit okay. Now Nolan from the Think Media team made a video on how to upload your thumbnail to your video. And you can do it even on your smartphone if you want to, but check out that video by clicking or tapping the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace. <music>